Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a drugstore haul and this is going to be pretty much makeup and nail polish. So let's go ahead and get started because my battery is low and I want to make sure I get through everything. So I'm going to start with the nail polishes. I got a couple of pretty ones for fall. Um, I got this Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip, Lip Color, Mega Last Salon Nail Color in the color Disturbia and it just looks like this. It's just a really pretty purple with like a golden shimmer I guess. Very pretty for fall. I love deep purples for the fall. That's like my favorite. And then the next color I got was OPI and this is called I Break for Manicures and this was only four dollars at Target. I don't know why but it was in the dollar section for half off so. And this was what I was wearing in my favorite lipsticks video and a lot of you guys wanted to know what was on my, my nails and it was this and this is like the most gorgeous creamy opaque color. So I love that. The next one I got is OPI's Congeniality is my middle name and that just looks like this and it's like a berry color with like um like a wine color with like purple shimmer. It's very very pretty and Christmassy and that is actually what I'm wearing right and now. And then the next one is by Zoya and this is called Portia and I got this at Ulta for half off so it was like $5.00. Or no, yeah, it was $5, so it wasn't half off, but um, they're usually $8. So, and this is like a milky pink color, so I thought that was really pretty. And then the last one I got was the Maybelline Color Show Polka Dots in the color Pretty and Polka. And I just thought this was different. I have I don't have anything like this in my collection, so I'm excited to see how this looks on your nails. Alright, the next things I got were lipsticks. Um, this is from Wet n Wild, and this is called the Wet n Wild Mega Shine Lip Color SPF of 15, and it has a new sticker on it, um, so I'm not sure how new it is, but this is the color 372S within these Adobe walls. And it doesn't really have a smell, but it's definitely up my alley of colors. It's like a really pretty light nudie pink color and it's very moisturizing I can tell by by the swatch it was very moisturizing so I'm excited to try that out and then I got this wet n wild lipstick in 911 D stoplight red and it's a very very pretty red color and I'll swatch it it's, it's a just a matte color but it's it doesn't look matte it has a very nice like um shine to it so that's a very pretty, it's like a red with a pink undertone. So I'm excited to try this as well with like a holiday tutorial. So, And then the next one I picked up was also kind of a folly color. These are totally outside my box, but I'm trying to expand my horizons and go outside of the pinks and the nudes. So the next one I got is a Revlon uh, Super Lustrous Lipstick. And these are the Shine. They're called Shine. So they have like the holographic looking or shiny bottom, I don't know what it's called. But this is in 835 Berry Couture and it's just a really pretty berry color. And I just thought it was really pretty and I want to do like a tutorial on with this color. So it's very, it seems very sheer when I swatch it. So it might actually be something that I'll really, really love. It's very moisturizing too, so I love that. And then I picked up this Baby Lips Doctor Rescue, and this is called, where is the name of this? Just Peachy. And it's just like a peachy nude, but oh, oh my goodness, you guys, this smells so bad. Here's the color. It's really, really pretty color, um, but it just smells so bad. I can't even, I can't even wear it, and it's not moisturizing. Like, I don't feel like it's doing any any rescuing you know like it's not helping my lips it's just not and it smells so bad I can't even wear it so don't really like that okay the next thing I got was I if you guys didn't see my review on the Revlon shadow links I'll link that below because I picked up three more to try out and these have different finishes um, I picked up taupe which is a satin finish and it just looks like this, very pigmented, much more pigmented than the other, oops, the other ones that I've tried. Um, and then I picked up Plum, which is a matte color, and this is pigmented as well. And then I picked up Bone for my Brow Bone highlight color, and it's a matte color as well, so I thought this would be like a really pretty everyday highlight because I like to wear matte highlights usually. 
So yeah, I picked up those three and they're definitely more pigmented than the first two that I used. But So I've been really happy with these and I've been happy with the other ones too. I think they still make a really pretty eye. I've definitely picked some of these up if you guys are out. They're only $2.50 so they're worth a shot. Okay, the next quad that I bought was this L'Oreal Color Riche Eyeshadow Quad in Skinny Jeans. And it just looks like this. It's mainly, it's a blue quad, blue eyeshadows. And the reason I picked this up was because I thought I would do like a a blue ice a blue smoky eye tutorial just because I haven't done a lot of colorful eyes and I want to broaden that as well. I want to do so much more. Now that I have this camera, I feel like I can just do like anything and you guys are going to be able to see everything in detail and it's just going to be so much easier. So yeah, I've picked up this to do a tutorial with. So I'm excited to try that out. These eyeshadows are also very pigmented, except for the white shimmery one. That one's not very pigmented. And then I was at Kmart, and I was really excited because I saw these new Color Icon palettes. And this one is called A Great Glistener. And it's really, really pretty. It has, like, very earth tone -y colors. It's got the silver, gold. No, it doesn't have the earth tones. No. Okay. I take that back. This isn't the earth tone -y one, but... This, what this is for is the top row are shimmer overcoats for the brow bone, um, the middle row are pearl powders for the eyelid, and the bottom row are supposed to be matte definers for the eye line. Each and every single one of these eyeshadows are extremely, extremely pigmented. Like, we're talking crazy pigmentation here. Just what you'd expect from a Wet n Wild palette. So I am super excited. I'm going to be doing some makeup tutorials for the holiday with these palettes. Okay, and then the next one was No Neutral Ground. And this is more of the earth tone colors, which I thought was so pretty for fall. And yeah, I'm going to be doing some eye looks with this as well. Can't wait. Okay, last couple of things are eyeliners. The next thing... Okay, the next thing I picked up was the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and this is in, what is this, Plum. So it's just a purple eyeliner, and I just got this to see how it worked with a uh, purple eyeshadow tutorial that I'm going to be doing. So here it is, and I really love the black one. It's like one of my favorite liquid liners, so I figured this one would probably be pretty good, and it's got a decent amount of color so looking forward to using that okay and then oh and these wet n wild eyeliners are so good well at least the black one is and then they're so inexpensive so if you are looking for a really good inexpensive liquid liner I would definitely try the wet n wild liner the next thing I got was this Rimmel scandalized waterproof eyeliner and this is in deep blue and it's just a really pretty blue color and I thought this would be really pretty for like a pop of color um, on the lower lash line so I got that and they're very, very creamy. So those are like my favorite. The black one is my favorite eyeliner for under the eye. Um, and then the next one I got was the Rimmel Scandalized Eyeshadow Crayon in 006 Paranoid Purple. And this is a 24-hour waterproof. It says 24-hour waterproof hydrofuge. So this should stay on pretty good. But I thought that was a really pretty purple right there. So that will be pretty with an eye look that I will be doing. I got a lot of makeup tutorials in my head planned out, so hopefully the, those all work out. The last product I am super excited about. So a subscriber told me about a self-tanner that was comparable to St. Tropez, and that is my ultimate favorite self-tanner. So I thought if I could find something comparable and it's Walmart brand, that would just be amazing. So I was at Walmart and I picked it up, and this is the Equate self-tanning or bronzing mousse. It's called Equate Beauty Self-Tan Bronzing Mousse. Um, for an all over even tan and it says golden color never orange instant color and it says compare to Saint Tropez self tan bronzing mousse so yeah it looks like the Saint Tropez too it's got the same color lid the same looking bottle exactly I mean if this is Saint Tropez if you didn't look at the writing it's crazy so I paid $6.44 for this and this is four fluid ounces the four fluid ounces bleh, I can't talk the 4 Fluid Ounce St. Tropez bottle is $30, so if they're comparable, which I'm going to use this all week, and I'm going to do a video 
on this versus the Saint Tropez. So I'm sorry I keep looking over there, but the battery's flashing and it's making me really nervous because I'm afraid it's just going to die on me. Okay, so anyway, I am super excited about this. Be on the lookout for it. And yeah, I think that's everything I got. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments below what your favorites are. Thumbs up if you are loving my new quality. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.